All right, guys, it's pretty cool out here. It's uh, 14 Celsius, I think, whatever that is, 13, 14 Celsius. I saw that on my display in the car. Just walking across these lava rocks. Man, they're like all over the place. I guess the island was formed by a volcano. Uh, but I finally made it to the Blue Lagoon. I'm hoping they're gonna let me in. If not, I, I don't even want to think about it. Something's got to go right today. Yeah, so we're going to walk on over and keep walking across these. I'm, I'm assuming these are lava rocks. So I got a bit of a hike to get there. The parking lot wasn't totally full, so I'm fingers crossed. About to get hit by a car here. So, so far, I mean... It is, it's pretty cool. My jackets keep me warm. I'm digging it. It's a new country. Uh, I'm excited. <laughs> Finally getting excited. I know eventually I'm gonna, I'm gonna crash hard tonight. But for now, we're gonna head over here and enjoy this and do a little bit of an adventure. Check out this lava field you gotta walk through. It's almost like a little tunnel you gotta go through. I have no idea how far up it is. Uh, you can see the steam rising up there. So, man, this is pretty cool. I like to walk across these rocks. It reminds me of, I don't know what it reminds me of. I was thinking the Badlands, but I don't think they're rocky like this. Not the Grand Canyon. I don't know. I guess it just reminds me of something I've never seen before. This, this is this is cool I want to check I'm just hoping <laughs> that my tickets in this backpack and I didn't take it out and put it in my car I'm pretty sure it's in here the way things are going today though I can see having to walk all the way back yeah but these are pretty cool I have to look at some of the history of uh, Iceland I do think it was formed by uh, volcanoes, but I'm not 100% sure. 100% sure I can't even talk. This looks like old lava flow to me. This is beautiful. Whew, first time in another country. I think I picked a good one. All right, let's head up this way and see if we can get in. Still outside now, but I give you guys a look at what it actually looks like. Look at that cool blue tint. Because once I get inside, um, I'm not going to take my camera into the water. I'll try to get some pictures. Sorry, guys, there's an old saying that says, uh, better late than never. I'm <laughs> like three hours late, no sleep. I finally made it. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm about to get into. Oh man, it's cold out here. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with my camera for just a little bit, then I'm gonna sit this thing down. I got a free drink coming to me and some kind of mask. But there you go. Got all the steam rising. Yeah. All right, I'm cold. I'm getting in. Guys, after the day I've had, this feels so freaking good. It was uh, definitely worth it. I'm going to go get rid of this towel. It kind of feels like I'm in a, like some kind of hot bath. You can feel the silica, like the salt. Yeah, but just look look back here behind me. Yeah. I think my phone will be okay for a few minutes. I'm going to go sit this down. And I'm going to chill.
All right, as usual, I'm, I'm cracking myself up. I'm gonna show you guys something really, really funny. I can't even say it, I'm gonna crack up. It's like, hey, I'm doing white face. Okay, so yeah, that's just me being me. Sorry guys, yeah, I kind of feel like today's videos aren't gonna be the best and I can see myself in a camera and I'm just cracking up right now. But this is kind of cool. I'm out here in the middle, there's nobody around me. Every now and then you find a spot that's a little bit warmer. Uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. So I'm gonna make my way over to the bar, get my free drink. Eventually I need to eat something. I have some paprika chips today. Those are pretty good. But man, I don't, <laughs> it's gonna be hard to leave here. I think after a while I'm gonna go put the camera back and come back and chill. But first, I'm gonna make my way over and uh, grab a drink. Man, this is beautiful out here. This kind of made all the stuff I went through earlier in the day worthwhile. Look at this, there's nobody behind me. This is the, early today, man, that was a challenge. I was ready to get that lady a hug when I got here when she let me in. Cause I was like three hours late. So she, she, if I knew her name, I would thank her personally. She just made my day. And much to my surprise, you can't see them back there, but there's actually another, I uh, just sprayed water my eye. There's actually black people here. <laughs> I thought I was going to be the only one. Yeah, so you know, if any brothers and sisters are out there watching this, one reason I wanted to do this is a guy I watched named Jermaine Ellis, and he's in like his 57th, 58th country. And he said, you know, black people don't travel overseas. And that, that's true. You got to get out and experience. I, I'd like to go somewhere else, but I don't. Because getting here was cheap. The flight, well, I shouldn't say cheap, is inexpensive compared to normal flights. And I don't know if I can uh, go somewhere else overseas or not. But that's another story for another day. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my trip. And I'll keep posting these boring videos for you. All right, let's go get a drink. So I got jizz running down my chin. <laughs> Sorry, I'm cracking myself up again. This stuff is so weird because I can feel it tightening on my face. I just want to make sure I don't get it in my eyes. And I think I just did. Great, Eric. Smart move. Now I really look like a ghost. So this is crazy because this water here is the silica. Make my, my face is peeling. I'm really just cracking myself up. This is what happens when you have a lack of sleep. But every time I try to lean back, lean back on these rocks, <laughs> my legs keep floating up. I, I can't keep them down. Sorry guys, here we go. Some boring, but I find interesting uh, facts about the Blue Lagoon. This air Iceland is over two tectonic plates. So I think it said 3,800 meters or something like that beneath here. That's where the magma is warming up the water. So it comes up through the crevices. I guess I would say crevice. And by the time it gets to uh, up here on the surface, it's like 100 degrees. And man, it feels good. Um, I forgot how, well, everything's in liters. So I don't know how many gallons. But it says every 40 hours, the water gets recycled. 